in Naraka, every character has an F ability with a short cooldown. Their function is easy to understand, but most of them have more in store than what first meets the eye. Maximizing their usage will make the difference between a good and a great player. And by the end of the video, I promise you, you'll have a much better understanding of when and where to press your F button. We can split these F abilities in three categories. First, we have the soft combo breaker abilities. To make it short, a soft combo is a combo that you can't dodge out, but you can use an ability even if it's not labeled as can be used under attack to get out of it. Most abilities can act as soft combo breaker as long as it gives you at least a blue level of focus when pressing it. Usually the goal is to use them before you take damage or big stagger to mitigate a mistake. And as you just saw, some of them can give you a free shot or a light attack if you can hit your enemy with it. Zipping F gives you a very long golden focus time which allows you to parry some attacks on reaction. Takeda F3 will give you a good friend trap if you get the push. If your enemy tries to attack, you can stagger him instantly, and if he tries to dodge away, you can chase him. And if your F3 actually grabs someone, you can even follow up with one of his ultimates. But the best soft breakers can give you a full combo. Here are some other examples. You gotta be careful with those soft breakers, cause they are prone to being baited and sometimes even punished. In the second category, we have the true combo breaker abilities. They can be used at any time with zero restrictions. They usually consider the strongest abilities on most characters, but there are ways to use them even better. Zai F1 might be the perfect example. After pressing it, you're free to pick up your weapon, loot a soul bloom, or even grapple away from the fight. You can also sometimes punish the attack that would have hit you. With Tessa F1, you can use the Foxfire effect to protect you from multiple hitting blue attacks. But be careful to not get light staggered. Justin F1 will allow you to gain your stamina back, and if someone dares hitting you, you can confirm into a full combo. It's also a good ability to wait some ultimates out, you're just chilling in your ice block. Valda F3, when used right after getting uppercut, can lead you to your own combo. Yeshan F1, when used from the air, can be cancelled by attacking, which also gives you a combo starter. The Wuchan Fs can be used to break and sometimes get a parry or punish with good timing. And now, for the third and last category, we have the true iframe abilities. When used, these abilities will allow you to completely disappear and avoid ultimates that would otherwise hit you, like Vipers, Tessas, and Valda V1. And don't forget to use Gurumi's Umbrella as a projectile and grab protection. It's also physical entity, which means it will attract melee assist, which makes it even harder for your enemies to fight you if you play inside of it. I really hope you learned something today and I'll see you on Twitch.